Hmm, I wonder, what is the multivariable case of the chain rule like? Can we do this at all? Well, we still have derivatives in terms of rates of change. We still know how to compose functions. I bet there's something we can do. I bet it's time for the real chain rule, the full multivariable chain rule. Let's go. Let's say that we have two functions, f and g, but now they have multiple inputs, multiple outputs. If they are composable and differentiable, then their composition has derivative equal to the derivative of f times the derivative of g, just like before, and just like before. We have to be careful with the evaluation points. If we evaluate the derivative of the composition at a, then we evaluate the derivative of g at a, and the derivative of f at g of a. But wait a minute. What is this multiplication between derivatives? Oh, wait! This is matrix multiplication, because, of course, these derivatives are matrices. This is what it has to be. Rates of change multiply under composition, and now we have matrix multiplication to do the hard work. Now, we can do this in Leibniz notation as well. If y is a function of u and the u variables are a function of x variables, then the derivative of the y variables with respect to the x variables is equal to the derivative of the y variables with respect to the u variables times the derivative of the u variables with respect to the x variables, keeping track of evaluation points as needed. Again, it's all matrix multiplication. That is really how the chain rule works.